Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite cuts of meat, ground beef. I love ground beef because it's extremely versatile. It's also budget friendly. Toto's come to join in the video. Very versatile, budget friendly, and it's a great way to hide organ meats. If you're someone who wants to integrate organ meats into your ketovore, carnivore diet, but you don't really love the taste, ground beef is a great way to hide it. He's just gonna rotate. He's gonna pop in and out of the video. Okay, he's gonna settle down now. <laughs> if there are recipes, I will link them in the description and you can check them out yourself. There's a cat. The very first recipe is meatloaf. Loads of people have their own versions of meatloaf. I have my recipe, it's on my blog and on this YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description. Uh, but mainly, um, the main difference between my meatloaf and I guess other people's is that I use pork panko in place of breadcrumbs and also parmesan cheese is a good alternative to breadcrumbs if you're someone who can eat dairy if you're sensitive to pork i know i get messages a lot what can i substitute for pork panko chicken skins uh, is a great alternative you can get buy chicken skins and grind them up and make them into a panko as well so that's another alternative uh, to breadcrumbs i also like to lay bacon on top of mine which is very common in the ketovore carnivore community to utilize bacon. You can weave it and make it pretty on top. I just lay it on top and then as it cooks, that bacon fat seeps down into the meat, makes it very tasty. Super easy to hide organ meat and meatloaf. You could also, if you are someone who likes ketchup, use Primal Kitchen ketchup on top. Uh, there are several low carb keto friendly ketchups out there these days. So if you're someone who likes ketchup on their meatloaf, you can do that too. Uh, the second and maybe my most favorite way to use ground beef is chili. I love chili, but not just any chili. Very specifically, my friend Melissa, who has a keto blog, I will link it in the description. Her chili is the best chili, keto or not, that I've ever had in my entire life. And I eat it, if not monthly, every other week. It is that good. Now, she has two different versions, so this is kind of a, a two for one. All right, so she has the traditional chili, which is just ground beef and seasonings. It is delicious. She puts a fish sauce in there, which sounds crazy, but trust, it makes it. It makes it, gives it the umami flavoring. It's delicious. You make sure and get you a clean, low carb, uh, keto friendly fish sauce because there are some bad ones out there. So get a good one. And this is actually a three for one, actually. So uh, with that, I like to make chili dog bowls. I love chili dog bowls. Love, love. So what I like to do is I cut my hot dog in half. I fry it in bacon grease in a skillet, get it nice and, and uh, fried up. And then I top the chili on top, put the chili on top. Cheese, a little sour cream. Sometimes I put some fresh dill on top. Um, do whatever way that you want. That's just how I do it. And I love, 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 love a good chili dog. She's got another version of her chili for those of you who like beans in your chili. I can't remember which one is which, but she's got, they'll both be linked in the description. One of them has brisket and the brisket is cooked and chopped up in chunks and that kind of gives it the texture of beans uh, either way super meat friendly and delicious i like both of them and then another way to use ground beef but also very similar is to make chili meatballs this is another melissa recipe so she takes her chili recipe but she makes meatballs and then puts them into the chili very very good very tasty the meatballs are huge by the way super delicious and i also put that on a chili dog as well so it just depends on what chili i'm having for the week speaking of meatballs she has an amazing this is like a melissa recipe video but she has an amazing meatball recipe too the meatballs are stuffed with cheese they're huge they're like super huge uh meatballs and then you can put rayo sauce or you can make your own sauce. I think she has a recipe on there for spaghetti sauce as well. And so I, I call, sometimes I'll say I'm having spaghetti, uh, which is the next thing. And that just means I've made ground beef and I've seasoned it and I've put rayo's sauce in there. And so I'll have a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> really, it's just spaghetti meat sauce, but it's super, super tasty. And then if you want to, you can make Maria's bread or indigo neely. She also has a bread recipe that's keto carnivore friendly. And then you can make garlic bread to go with it. Mm, I miss garlic bread, I'm not even gonna lie. That's like one of my 
truly well-loved mist carboholic things, but there are super good alternatives out there, so check those out. The next thing I have on my list that is in rotation almost weekly is nacho bowl slash taco bowl, depending on uh, what you like. Now, you can also make tacos and make taco shells out of cheese or you can use folios there's tons of different ways they can do that you can also make enchiladas using egg life wraps i unfortunately i haven't written up my enchilada recipe yet so taco bowl nacho bowl you're probably getting way more than 10 ground beef recipes in this video just throwing it out there so taco bowl i just make ground beef season it with nacho taco seasoning put it in a bowl top it with my favorite taco toppings, cheese, onions, tomato, avocado, guacamole, sour cream, whatever you want to throw on there, nacho bowl. Then you can make tacos, like I said with the cheese shells, same thing, season up that ground beef, throw your toppings on top, have a lovely Taco Tuesday. Or you can even do enchiladas with the egg life wraps. Oh, and don't forget, if you are having a nacho bowl and you do want like the, the chip experience, Carnivore crisps, the chicken breast, that's what I usually use for uh, dipping in my cheese sauce, my salsa, my guacamole, is the chicken breast. I have a discount code, I'll put it on the screen, it's berry, and that'll get you a little bit off if you wanna try the carnivore crisp chicken breast. Perfect for nachos. So there you go, there's your Mexican inspired ground beef recipes. So the next thing I've been doing here lately is epanadas. Uh, so I am half Puerto Rican, my dad's Puerto Rican. Epanadas is a thing that I just have missed very, very much, okay? <laughs> um, the keto good epanada is seasoning the meat appropriately. Unfortunately, I don't have this recipe written down, but you can Google epanada recipe and just go by the recipe for the meat seasoning. Epanada shells from Fathead Dough. Fathead dough has been around a very long time, super easy to make. You can just Google how to make fathead dough. It's mozzarella cheese and a little almond flour and some cream cheese. And then I put it in, I have a mini pie maker and I put it in there and it makes a pretty decent epanada. Does it taste just like a regular real epanada from my abuelita's house? No, it doesn't, but it does the job. And then also your very basic uh, ground beef recipe, hamburger steak. Um, you just patty out ground beef. You can season it if you want to. Sometimes I put some seasonings in there, but for the most part, it's just ground beef in a patty, in a skillet, and then I put grilled onions on top. And that's a really delicious um, ground beef recipe. Super, super simple, quick and easy. You can slap some cheese on top of there if you would like and make a cheeseburger no bun, cheeseburger bowl. That's another, you're getting way more than 10 recipes in this video. It's fine. Uh, lately with my pregnancy, I've been craving Big Macs, which is crazy. I've never ever been a Big Mac person, even back in the day, okay? But for some reason, I want a Big Mac. All right, and so it's super easy to make a Big Mac bowl. Um, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember who it is, but somebody has a low carb version of the special sauce, which is really just like, basically, what is it, a Thousand Island <laughs> dressing? Pickles, onions, lettuce, and, and a burger, and there you go, burger bowl, cheeseburger bowl, all right? <laughs> and you can do that with any, you can just do a cheeseburger and your normal toppings, you know, burger without a bun, that type of thing, but oh my gosh. For some reason the Big Mac is in here it's in my brain and then the very last thing is something I made on accident and then and it's well I didn't actually make it I made something very similar and it made me think about it so sloppy Joe's make those keto friendly very easily because it's basically just ground beef uh, onions green peppers ketchup and brown sugar so instead of regular ketchup you're going to use Promo Kitchen or another alternative and brown sugar swerve, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce if you want, and it tastes just like a sloppy joe. Now, do you have a bun? No, but you can make a bun alternative. There's so many recipes out there for keto buns, keto bread. I like it just in a bowl using my fork. It's fine because I just want that flavor anyways of the meat. 
I have no idea how many options I actually gave you, but I hope you enjoyed this. It was informative and it gave you some ideas for budget-friendly meals for you and your family. If you love these kind of videos, make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumb on the way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.